Ahoy hoy, it's the lovely Mary here, and today not only do we have one box opening, but we actually have two. So you're in for a treat, because we are going to have a special versus. And if we look at what the date is and time, it is March 10th. And the fact that I have received both of my boxes is amazing because usually this one comes like the last possible week of the month so let's see how they look presentation wise after coming in through the mail and here we go all right so presentation wise they both seem not bent out of shape and the box inside super cute looks like new art um meanwhile you my twins is still the same still cute um, but nothing updated in the past couple months. All right, so we both have our pamphlets. One is bent, one is nice and straight, and they have their art, but we'll go over this at the end. All right, so just from the looks of it, they both seem to have a stuffed animal. And so let's take a look. So we have a cute little brown Sheba, super cute. It's more, um, not on the soft side, but on the sturdier side. So super cute. So I'm guessing these are all your options that you could have received. All right, so there's our Yume twins. It looks like we have, I believe it's a chipmunk because of the lines. Should be a chipmunk, but super cute. Also very sturdy. It's not the usual plush, um, squishy. And you'll notice this kind of fabric is a fabric I'm used to getting, but this one actually has a more like fur fuzz fabric. Do you see that? Still soft. I mean, it feels pettable. Out of those two, I would say, I don't know. I would say this one is super cute. I love this. It is a lot softer. Um, but this is, I love chipmunks, but I would have to say I, I do like this better. It is much larger, but I feel like in regards to the rest of things we're going to get, this was like the big ticket item. So I would say between these two, I would give the point to Yume Twins for this one. All right. So from Doki Doki, we have a bath sponge. I've been noticing this on their uh, Instagram. They've been saying, oh, are you excited for it? And here it is. It looks like I have kind of like a BLT with um, an egg on top. And it is a sponge. So it's got that thicker, you know, spongy material. And, and you can hang it. So I would say the most comparable thing, it looks like that... You my twins has would be this, um, which I don't think it's a bath sponge. It looks like a duster to me, but I would say this is the closest in that it's a cleaning sort of item. So this is called a pop mop according to the tag, and although it is cute and it clicks in, I don't know if I can get it to click out now. Um, super cute. I'm assuming you could probably take this off. Yeah, it looks like you can and wash this. Between these two things, if we're trying to keep it in comparison of items, I would say that versatility-wise, this is nice, but I don't know. I want to say if you were to go to a store and compare the prices of these two, this would probably be a lot more of an expensive item. So if we're going on expenses, I would say it would go to this one. This one seems nice quality. It is very large and probably would cost more than something like this. But in between these two, versatility-wise, like what am I personally going to use more? I would say this one. So I'm going to give the point to this one, although this one's probably nicer quality. Um, but for me personally, I would probably find more use out of this than this. This is going to be more of a decoration item than me actually using it and then have to throw it away eventually. Okay? So, point to you, May Twins, for this one. Or just, it just says Sheba and Friends on here. Um, so it might be a new creature kind of character that's out right now. It looks like it's a bath bomb. Peach scented, or whatever the proper term is. And after you use it, it will come with an item inside. And that's the one thing I loved about Japanese bath bombs. 
I would say out of these two items, I would go with the bath bomb because it's something I am really excited to use. But you may gently place it inside and they go well together. So I do like this basket though. Very small, very cute, can keep your little trinkets in. Um, so I do like it. But man, this bath bomb, oh man. I'm sorry, Doki Doki. <laughs> it's not going well for you this time. But again, we're talking about me spending 30 bucks on each of these and trying to figure out which one works best for me as a person. So, so far, Yuma Twins is hitting it. And let me know down below if you don't agree with this, if you think it's, uh, if Doki Doki's actually winning this. They are both mystery box items. So we have our Guretama, and then we have the Sumiko Gurashi. These are your options you could get for either one of these. This seems like it might actually be a plush. And these ones seem like they're like New Year's gift charms. So let's take a look. All right, it is a plush, like I thought. Okay. So it is a plush, super cute. Got a little butt in there. Very cute. He's got some stray fuzzies though, but super cute. All right, let's see what we got for the Yume twins. Cute, so we got the, I think he's a pickle guy, right? Um, so we got a charm for him. It says Sanrio, Sanex, so we know it's from them. Good licensing. Not quite sure what it says. Super cute. I like it. I would say between these two, like, this is definitely super cute, super unique. And then we have Guretama, cute little plush. Squishy, but it has a firm bottom. Or he has a firm bottom, I should say, to make sure he keeps it in place. Whew! Still not putting Doki Doki anywhere in the lead at all, but let's give a point to both because I, I do really like this. Um, but I do think the Gouda Tama is super cute. So this is the Cheshire Cat from Alice in Wonderland. It says it's Disney. It looks like a whiteboard that you hang. So let's see if it works and if it erases. All right, so we wrote something. We know the pen's not dead. And it comes with an eraser, so that's nice too. See how well it erases? Okay, does a pretty good job. And yeah, there's not really very like stray marks, so that's a good sign. But the only qualm I would have is where do I put the pen? Where? I have one from Daiso that's similar to this, where it comes with one of these, but it's magnetic, so I can, you know, magnetize it. But here. I don't see where I would put it. So that's a little, a bit of a letdown, especially since if this really is, you know, a Disney quality item, why they wouldn't have added like a clip or a magnet or something to keep this? Cause what am, I mean, they make it intended to hang, right? Why else would they add a hanging thing if you're not supposed to hang it? But if you're hanging this, how do you hang this, right? I mean, where, where am I supposed to, supposed to put it? Okay, so that's kind of that's kind of a letdown. I mean, it's super cute. It is kind of Easter-y, ready for Easter coming up. But where do I put the marker? Where? Okay, so Yume Twins, on the other hand, gave us a another Shiba theme item, which this actually I feel like I wish I had gotten this box the same time I had gotten the Shiba themed New Year's box. I believe that was January because I feel like that would have been a much better comparison. What do you guys think? I think it would have because this seems very Shiba centric and this was also in January was very Shiba centric and those would have done a much better versus but can't do that. It has already been done. We have the cute little Shiba options. The four again. I believe that's probably the one I got for the stuffed animal. And oh wow, these are in color. Very nice. And there's two so far. Three. Three different kinds. And it's got the graph paper. That I do like. So I would say if you're comparing, you know, this kind of. I've already lost the marker, guys. Oh, here it is. Okay. If you're comparing stationary wise, I would say this is obviously a lot better. I feel like this is something I could have found. Again, at like a Dollar Tree. Um, but between the two, I'd say this is the better, better buy. <laughs> All right. Sorry, uh, Doki Doki. This is not faring well for you. So last items. And so it looks like they have the same amount of items this time. Sometimes one has a little bit more than the other. 
We have a Tsum Tsum face mask, so beauty, beauty. And we have a squishy uh, looking like a cat paw. So, looks like we have a squishy cat paw. It's kind of a little uh, worse for wear. Looks like a cat or my cat has already gotten to it, which we know it hasn't. There's kind of an abrasion right there. And the spotting is kind of weird. Like, I don't know if that was the under color and then they were supposed to paint over it and then somebody missed the spot or it's supposed to add like a unique cat flair to it because, you know, not all jelly bean toes are created equal. So here it is, it's showing you, you know, look, cat paw, it's soft, it's squishy, be your friend, right? So, um, and then we got a face mask, which aren't equally comparable, I would say. But quality wise, um, I would say this isn't very good quality. I mean, it's saw, definitely squishy. Here, we got a real cat here. Would you like, no, no, you just wanna walk around, okay. I'd say uh, between the two of these, I will give it this to, uh, even though they're not really comparable items, I'm gonna give it to Doki Doki. Same number of items, but between the two that we have left, um, I would say this is suits me better. I like Tsum Tsums. I will try this mask out versus this. I mean, as cute as it is, I wish it kind of was better quality because um, then for sure I would probably like hang it from an Ita bag or something, but I don't know. Just something about this, you guys. Can you see that kind of in the reflections of the light? It kind of reminds me of um, rabbit's foot or was it a foot, rabbit foot or rabbit tail? No, rabbit foot, I think. That was like all the rage in like the late 90s, early 2000s. Like everyone had one on their backpack. Was that a thing where you lived? I don't know, but it was here. Um, and they had like dyed pink. And, and now that you think about, now that I think about it, it's kind of sad. I don't think they were real for the most part. Uh, <laughs> so this scene, this kind of reminds me of that. Is that bad? Um, so I don't know if I'd want, like, a decapitated cat paw hanging from anything I own, although it is really, it, it had the potential to be really cute. I would say cover art-wise, um, they are both adorable, but I think I enjoy this artwork better, um, just, that's my personal opinion. So, for pamphlet art covers, I will give it to Doki Doki. Now let's take a look and see all of our items. So we have Mochishiba, they're telling you all about it, they're saying hello, oh, and they're showing you how they created the art, that's super cute. Alright, so here's the plushies. It, it says, oh, let's see, that's good, I feel like, I guess that was the only option. Maybe there was more than one, let me know if you got more than, like, a different one than that. Okay, those were the different colors and different animals you could have gotten. There's the bath bomb, there's the poppy knees, I feel like maybe that would have been more up my alley. We have our memo pad, and omamori. Oh, it comes with a paper to write your desires. And so, good luck, John. Okay, that's what I thought. And then here we go. There's all the goodies, picture of it. Here's that contest where if you go do something, you can win something. Um, here is an art card. That's super cute. That seems new to me. Um, fan art of the month. Well, in part because he just brought these back. Let's see. And then here's the UMA prize month um, that you get just automatically entered in if you are a subscriber. And then, oh, so they talk about Sailor Moon and Harajuku. And then we got, of course, pictures of subscribers. All right, and then, oh! Added a butt. Can't wait to see you online. They're still putting the Yumezine online. That's a cute touch. I did not see that until right now, at this moment. That's super cute. All right, let's see what we have here for Doki Doki. We have our cute cover art, and of course, ooh, and of course, everything is pamphlet style. So we have a nice condensed version. They tell you what you could get. Potikoro Friends. So it seems like there was more than one option. They didn't tell you what else, though, other than I know I didn't get that creature. There's a special Valentine's Day gift. Oh, so it seems like maybe it was just a bonus. There's the sponge, there's the mini basket, the blind box, and the message board. All right, and then we have, of course, just like you, my twins, they have their Suteki crate. You can win all these special items, and I really like that. I didn't know that was a thing. So that's super cute. Seems like it's very Alice in Wonderland, Alice in Wonderland themed, as well as Gretama, and we got some Rilakkuma and Ko Kori Lakuma plush. And then on the back, of course, same thing, like you, my twins. They show the fans. They have even have their little comic of the week, and then they tell you the theme is a spring cleaning. So everything here is supposed to help you be fresh. So I would say... Um, um, 
as much as I like all the things they have in here, and I'm glad they brought it back, I feel like if they did something more like Doki Doki, where they just kind of condensed it to one whole thing and then left the rest up in the Yume zine, since it's saying that they still have it, I think that would be a good... Um, that would be a good thing for them. Especially if you follow them both on Instagram. They already post a lot of these things. Which I wasn't aware till I joined their Instagram. So if you have not followed either one of these, you should. And they give you kind of surprises and updates and hints as to what they're dropping in. Um, and in regards to simplicity, um, I would say it goes to Doki Doki. So overall... I would say when we compare the points that obviously we know <laughs> Yume Twins is going to be the winner this month um, in regards to items. But that's not to say this wasn't a good box because I actually think this was a pretty good box compared to uh, last month was just... I, I was upset <laughs> by last month personally because... So I feel like they kind of made it up to us this month because last month seriously giving me an empty box to put chocolate in and then a plastic chocolate mold like and then calling that you know a box I felt like that was just that was not worth $30 so this seems very redeeming to me this gives me hope for Doki Doki I do like these items these are actually items I I will actually use um, and put to use or put on display so, not to say this was a terrible box. This was actually a really good box. But when you're comparing the two, for the sake of this video, I would say Yume Twins, ding, 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 is the clear winner um, of the items. But, like I said, that doesn't mean this was a bad box. Actually, this was a really good box. Uh, much better, like I said, than last month. So... Let me know what you think down below. If you are new to this channel, um, hello. Thank you for staying till the end. And I hope you will subscribe if you haven't. And give me a like if you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, let me know what you thought was the better box. Because I love opinions and we could have different opinions. Let me know if you got a different creature. What did you get? Let me know if you have a channel. And I will go watch yours and see what you got for comparison because I love to do that um but yeah so that's it I guess the winner of the verses is clearly Yume Twins but like I said this was still a really really good box um so this was actually really difficult for me to find a clear winner usually there is a pretty distinct winner but this time around they were both pretty good boxes so I'm actually happy I think both of these are worth the value um, that was given that I paid for this <laughs> this month. So this gives me hope. Do you subscribe to one of these boxes or are you thinking of subscribing to one of these boxes? Also take a look. Um, one of my latest videos was a box swap with the lovely Lolly and uh, I will link that as well. Check it out. I do have an Instagram <laughs> Instagram now so go ahead and check that out as well and uh yeah I guess that's it so I hope you have a good rest of your weekend weekend and I will see you in the next video bye